get a lot of slander on the McDonald's order. I'm gonna show you how a stoner does it the correct way, and we're gonna eat. Let's get to it. Okay, now again, this is how we do the proper in and out order. I'm gonna give it to you. We're gonna list it on the screen. Let's get to it. No BS. My in and out order two cheeseburgers. No double doubles, all right? Get them out of here. Two cheeseburgers. We're getting the patties well done. We're getting the buns extra toasted. We're getting this animal style. And we're adding chopped chilies. Crucial, crucial. Add the chopped chilies. All right, that's the burgers. There's two of them. Look at these things. Look at these things, all right? Look at them. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Thumbnail? Ah! All right, that's the burgers. Let's put these in here. Right here. Burgers, you gotta get them done that way. If you don't, if you just walk up and say, hey, I want a double double, it's honestly not that great. It's honestly kind of mint, but that's not all. What we need with it, we need some fries. And how we're gonna do the fries, it's just as important. Don't just say, let me have fries. It's terrible, don't do that. You're gonna order an animal style fries, but we're getting them well done and we're asking for chopped chilies on these things. It's very important. Well done chopped chilies, you need them. Along with that, we're getting something called a flying Dutchman. This isn't on the menu, right? It's gonna come in a little box right here. This is a secret menu item. Why you need this is because the animal fries, oh, I got an extra fry in here as well. You can get an extra fry, get them well done. This is the animal fry. Look at this bad boy. Look at that bad boy. What if they just fell? You can see the chopped chilies on there. Well done as well. But what you need with this, you need the Flying Dutchman. What the Flying Dutchman is, it is just patty and cheese. And you're gonna get this well done as well. And look, it's literally just patty and cheese. And guess where this is going? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going right on top, baby. Boom. It's literally going right on top of our animal style fries. And now we have the best fry that you could possibly get from in and out the Flying Dutchman Animal Fries. Come on. Now, if you don't like In-N-Out, you possibly heard that uh, it's mid, it's, a, it's an average overrated burger, I implore you, I implore you, from someone who's, uh, who's uh, an avid lover of the In-N-Out, try it this way, try it this way, let me know what you think, because I mean, just, come on, maybe it's, maybe it's the dabs I've been taking, maybe it's the joints I've been smoking, but I mean, this burger is just fantastic, it's absolutely delicious. Now, oh my god, that's so good. One thing that, that sometimes I do, I didn't do it on this one. I want to go full burger. Sometimes I do no tomatoes, and um, I, like, I like that as well. Sometimes no tomatoes, but I wanted the full burger experience today. Plus on the thumbnail, it'll look nicer with the thumbnail. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what's great too? I almost forgot. This is a crucial part too. These are the chilies that are chopped up in the burger and stuff, but those ones were kind of small. Yeah, you know, they're average size, they're average size. And these chilies, they're, they're delicious. You bite the tip of it, that's it, you can eat it. And you can squeeze the juice on it. That's a that's an extra one for you, all right? That's an extra tip for you if you wanna make it in and out, just, just even better. Mm. Mm. It's just delicious. You know, you can do without the tomato. You can do without it. I'll leave one in there. The two slices, meh. Yeah, man. If you order it just like this and you don't like in and out I don't think you like hamburgers. I'm just being honest. I don't think you like hamburgers. I'm, I, don't, I don't think you do. If you walked up to in and out and just ordered a double-double and you said it was like mid, I, I kind of agree with that statement. It's not great. But this, I mean, you can just look at that bite right there. Look at that. That's great. Mm. I'm gonna get you guys a close up of these fries. Check them out. They're the animal fries. Well done with the Flying Dutchman on top. Added chopped chilies. Oh my lord. If that doesn't look like America to you, I don't really know what's speaking to you. Let's take a bite. Oh my America. Oh shit, come here. This is this is so America right here. Look at that. Oh, Ten out of ten. That's how you order fries. That's how you order in and out. Let's kill this thing. Come on. I definitely prefer the two cheeseburgers over the double double. You could do the same order if you want to do the double double. You order it the same way. Just make sure you get it well done. Make sure you get it extra toasted. Make sure you get that the chopped chilies. They're not that spicy. Stop eating a baby. They're simply just delicious. 
beverage wise too honestly skip the soda go with the shake this is a soda right here Jana wanted to do a little mixture i don't know what's in here this is she said it's two different drinks i'll see i don't know i don't know what that tastes like that's crazy babe what is this what a drink cherry coke and bark fruit beer root beer and cherry coke is wild combination Chocolate shake is hitting though. You can go get a chocolate shake from in and out Those are damn amazing. Switch it out. Well done fries, definitely the move. in and out fries, if you just order them by themselves, they're gonna be disappointing. If you don't wanna do the, like it's too messy for you, the, the, the animal soap, get them salted, get them well done. They'll be much better, but they're still like, they're like a fry you gotta eat really fresh or it's not gonna be as good. And this is a big boy order too, so make sure you got your appetite or you're gonna, you're gonna have some leftovers or need to share. Honestly, this is not a bad share order. You and like a you and like your partner, you and a, you and a friend, cheeseburger each, share the fries. It's not bad. I'm not sharing. I don't know. I'm not sure. I got so stoned before I started eating all of this, but I want to take a dab now, in the middle. I might need to. You guys ever wish you could smoke at a restaurant? I know sometimes there's a couple places here in Los Angeles, but if I go to In and Out and take dabs, oh shit. I might just hang out in there. <laughs> I might just go hang out there. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna go smoke. Come on. Roll a little bit up, huh? <laughs> Let's smoke a joint. Nothing quite like a post-meal smoke sesh, you know? Smoking before is always nice, but I think uh, personally I enjoy smoking that, uh, that that after session, after I eat when I'm nice and full. I think that's the best. Let me know in the comments what you guys think too. Also, let me know if you wanna try or if you're going to try this in and out order. Maybe you've been an in and out hater or anything. Let me know if you're gonna try this order. Hit the comments real quick. Let's smoke. The sun came out, so I had to get the, sun, uh, the sunglasses on. Got a little warm. Got some raining rosin in here. What is the elephant ears? The In N Out Burger, the meal, I rate that probably like an eight and a half out of 10. It's my favorite order when it comes to like a fast food burger. I think that's my go-to. I, I might say five guys if it didn't cost 65 bucks to order one French fry, but In N Out's hitting, man. In N Out's hitting. You know what we gotta do on one of these videos is, cause I'm trying out some new content, right? Maybe in one of these videos we we eat the food and then we make the food. So like right now, we did the it it out, how I would order it it out. <sighs> Maybe we make it as well. So I'd make the two cheeseburgers, try to replicate it as, as close as I can do it, if not better. That could be fun. I'm gonna try another food challenge video like this. Um, I guess this wasn't like a challenge video, this is more like how I order food. But uh, I'm gonna do a food challenge type video coming up soon. Wendy's, if you don't know. They got a new 50 piece bucket of spicy nuggets. I'm gonna go find that thing. I'm still smoking dice, but smoking dice. I'm not gonna fucking uh, sit here and smoke the whole joint with you guys on this video. I might go take a little walk or something. I just wanna let you guys know I appreciate you. I, I very much am thankful for the nearly 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos. We're closing in, we're on the road to 30,000. If you see the banner has changed on the YouTube, it's super dope. Shout out to Hash for making a new one for us. Hit the subscribe button if you're new so you can join us as we make our way to 30,000 subscribers. <coughs> and then also, big thank you to anybody that's tuned into the live streams, man. This last month has been un real with support not only in the terms of like subscribers and viewers people chatting just every every metric has been through the roof so thank you guys and if you haven't joined there's a little pop-up kick is uh tim is i was gonna say kick is live it's kick.com slash tim is live or if you prefer to watch on youtube you could just go to tim is live on youtube as well and both those channels are linked to it i think we're gonna also start linking our uh our twitter our ex whatever our twitter because restream gave us another slot so might be time for there as well so plenty of places to tune in if you want to come hang out you want to smoke a couple joints maybe take some dabs join the fallout playthrough actually we've been playing a bunch of fallout if you want to come just have a good time man, and enjoy some laughs some conversations hit the live streams up i'll see you guys there big cheers man you want to take this take no all right all right